Hello, thank you for joining me on this painting demonstration. Um, I'm just going to paint this using Prussian Blue, Payne's Grey and a bright red. The first thing I'm going to do is wet the whole of the sky area and then I'll start to um, add some pale blue in there just to give some cloud effect. You'll see me doing that with quite a large brush wetting to wet. The sky is looking quite effective now, but I do want to paint a moon in there. So what I'm going to do is wrap a coin in a piece of kitchen roll and stamp the sky area where I want the moon and it absorbs the paint and creates a nice effect. Then what I want to do is take some cloud across the moon to make it look more realistic. We're using a wetting to wet technique, I'm adding some trees to that horizon line but I do want to leave a space for the eye to go through so I'm not going to add any trees into this area here but on this side, same as the other side, very pale blue. I'm going to use also a darker paint uh, to put a little more interest and depth into that horizon line. There we go, slightly darker, it just adds a little bit more detail. Well, before the painting's completely dry, I'm just using a damp brush to pull out some paint. It absorbs like a sponge again and allows me to create some quite bright trees in the distance. In a similar way to creating the trunks, if I use a rigger brush, quite damp, I can take paint or add water to the paint and it does dilute and give some nice effects at the top of those trees of branches coming out. Likewise, I can just use a rigger brush to create small, very thin vertical lines. And now I'm just adding the shadow side to those trees using a rigger brush and some slightly darker paint. And then using the rigger brush with a little dark paint on to create some dark branches and some tall thin trees way in the distance. Okay, I need to define where the path's going to go, so I use a very pale paint first to just give me a rough idea. And then I add some darks, I'm trying to create a dish so it sort of dips down. So that gives me the sort of outline of the path and I can add to that a little later. Now I'm using a medium strength paint just to fill in the land either side. You'll see me add quite a lot of dark in there as well. This really does emphasize and, and highlight the path uh, as it cuts through this land.
purposely leaving the end of the path quite bright at this stage. This is quite strange really. What I'm doing now is I want to, to put into the painting towards this front edge some very large trees. Now they'll be quite wide. What I need to do is disturb some of the paint with a wet brush and remove it. That'll give me the light I need. And then I shall start to add some dark paint later as you'll see as we progress. Now it's beginning to get quite light and that's a great base from which I can now start to add some real dark paint to the outsides. By outsides I mean on the outside away from the path because the lighter area is inside towards the path. Okay, I'm using now quite a dark paint and just touching it into the wet tree. What that'll do is run down and allow it to join in properly rather than just be planted on the side. Same on the other side. Now I'm running these dark branches right across that light area in the painting. So it really makes it quite dramatic. Okay, just about there, but I do feel it needs another tree. The three is probably better than two, so I'm going to put a tree, quite a small one in this area here, but it is middle distance, so it's still quite a dark colour, and that'll add another dimension to the painting. And then I'll use the rigger brush again just to add a few branches. Okay, there's the branches. What I'm now going to do is add a few grasses around the base of those three trees. To add something into this area I've decided to put a couple of people in there so here we go it's quite a cold winter's day or evening so I think they ought to have some quite big coats uh, one person taller than the other I normally paint people quite simple in a landscape and this is no different I'm just going to paint long thin legs and then I'll pop some shadows in and in this monochrome painting I've decided to add a little bit of red so the lady's got a red coat on this time There's quite a lot of light in that area, so I do need some long shadows coming down this path. I think they look a little lonely, so I've decided to add a little dog. Now with a fairly weak dark paint, I'm just going to put in a few saplings. Um, it adds a little bit more detail, but it does look effective in that middle distance behind those large trees. And a little bird in the sky, why not? And now just showing you a little close-up of the painting, you can see the trees are quite effective. There's the couple and the dog, the grasses at the base of the trees, the saplings, and also the branches join the trees rather than just planted onto them. Dark branches against the light background look really uh, dramatic, and the light trees in the distance. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that demonstration, and uh, hopefully we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.